guys, this is Faye, Diamond in the Rough, and I'm doing a kitting up today of my custom from Diamond Shop. So this is the cheetah. But I also have a very special unboxing to do with that, is because this is from Stephanie, Wolfpack Diamond Penny. I won this in her live. Um, Absolutely brilliant. I, most of the times when people do competitions, I don't enter because I am in Australia um, uh, and I know what it costs to send something. If it's actually a prize where it's going to be shipped by the seller, different matter. But when you guys actually run, do competitions and send stuff, I'm fully aware of the cost of postage because I'm in Australia. I know what it's like to try and send to, to the US. I'm going to point this out, Steph. $82 for postage. $82. Holy cow, that's US. I put that in my calculator. Okay. $120 to ship me something. Wow. Thank you. You didn't, you didn't have to send it priority. It could have taken its time. <laughs> you know, just saying. But thank you, Steph. Um, yes, I have details under here covered up and I'm going to unbox it when I work out how it is sealed up. There we go. Whoops. Oh. I suppose if I do that, I don't know if I want to know this. This box cutter is getting a hard time. I'm in need of a new one. I just sent a couple out. I've killed this box cutter. It's either that. Hang on a sec. What can I say? There's nothing in there, this sucker. <laughs> I actually had to rip this apart. And here we go. Steph, what did you bring here? Pretzels. Pride of the cut. Oh, I love pretzels. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Believe it or not, this will be my first taste of American food. Pride of Dakota. Uh, let's see. Um, let's put that aside for a sec. I just want to pull out whatever else is in here. Bubble wrap. I know what's in here. Um, competition she gave us a choice. There were three people that won, I think, if I recall correctly. And we all got a choice. And I went with the Craftmates Lockable. I love these things. I have two already <laughs> but they're full <laughs> um, this just means another project I can get up and work on for me okay so for me with my containers if it's in a container I'll work on it so if I've got I've got seven things that I'll be working on now not six but thank you Steph that is it oh, okay so craftmate lockable love these love these love these but Hang on. Gotta give these a go. Gotta give these a go. Okay. My partner's he he like I've just sent some packages away and he's like, why do you do that? Why? It's because it's nice to share. Oh yeah, they different smelling. Very different smelling. <laughs> Okay, here we go. How salty are these? Woo! Woo -hoo. They're salty. <laughs> oh, they're very salty. Oh. oh, they're very salty. Yum. Yum, but very salty. Okay. I'm not going to eat those while I'm doing this because I'm kidding up. I need clean hands. All right, Steph, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll put these aside and get back in a sec. This is the cheetah. There we go. So now that I've received this, I'll be kitting up into the Craftmates Lockables. I love these. Love, 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 love. If you don't have them, two questions, why not? <laughs> And when, the second one is, when are you going to get yourself one? 
Okay, so these are brilliant. 57 colours Lee's taking them. And where is it? If you were actually with, <laughs> you get stuff from Dye Moon Shop, their little vials, there's but their drills will actually fit in. So when you're actually modifying your own diamond paintings, just a little bit of FYI. Okay, so these are fantastic. That's first few times you pull them out, just put plastic sticks. It's a new plastic. Okay, and these are great because when you press a button, you can open one or all but you've got to have that button pressed. Can't lift anything else up. And once you close them, they're closed. I have dropped Craft, Craftmate Lockables containers so many times and I've only had one spillage. Only one spillage. I'm clumsy, I'm a klutz. Partner really loves to reiterate the fact that I am an absolute klutz. But let's cut this little bit off and we're going to get on to the reason we're here. I'm going to kid up, cheat up. So how's everybody doing today now that I'm up to this point? Everybody happy? Everybody ready for Christmas? It's the 9th of December now. Okay, so anyway, here we go, the cheetah. Diamond, say 62 by 50. And very sticky. And bring this. <laughs> uh, okay, bring this up. And as you can see, when it focuses, when it decides to focus, hang on a sec, guys. I just need to. I do that, that'll figure out. Now I can get it to focus. So you can see the dark colours have got the white print, the light colours have got the dark print. Um, I'm going to have a look at their standard culprits. Just bear with me while I look for specific ones. Oh. H G. <laughs> They've done it again. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll show you. I always look for it now with Diamond Shop. Now let's see if we can zoom in. See the eight and the G. I can always just about always guarantee the eight and G and S. But the S is a grey. Okay, but I can just just about always guarantee that those those are going to get so close together. It's really funny. Um, it's just something I look for, and it's a little quirk that I've learned. Every diamond painting company has their own quirks with their drills um, and their symbols, and that's one with these guys. Um, let's see if I can find. Bear with me while I look. Okay, here we go. They're not big areas, which is a great thing. Now, um, we're going here. Just trying to get it so that it's not hard. <laughs> Cover minders, that's what they're there for. And let's see. Actually, it's not too bad. You've got an 8 and a G right next to each other, just about in the middle of the screen. The G is blue and the G, sorry, yeah, the G is blue and the 8 is a grey, so won't be too bad. Not like I've had one where there was the 8, the 8, the G and the S were all in the reds. A little bit tricky. But I turn around and look at it when they do things like that. I class it as a... Regardless of the company and the width, no matter how much it shits me off at times, um, the harder the symbols are, I'll actually look at it and go, well, it's an advanced one, it's a challenge, there's no rush. You know, this is a hobby to enjoy. Take your time, get it right, but take your time. Anyway, kidding up, 
because we have the legend is not attached to canvas, I was able to put that in the photocopier. I didn't need to take a photo of it and then send it to a printer. And as per all the other times, when I use the uh, Siren sticker maker, I cut these in half because I can never get these to go right. But, okay, time to do it, bear with me. I'm going to, yeah, nah, do you want to zoom in or do you want to work out? All right, let's get these labels done. If you haven't got one, these are brilliant and then when you get one, you realise why, why you see so many people with them. Um, these are brilliant, but you always got to make sure that you're putting them on straight because I can never do these straight. I just rub and I just need to peel the edge off. Okay, so there's my labels. My labels are done. We're in the camera. The camera's not going to focus on that. Trust me, the labels are, they're clear. Just the camera's not. Okay, so that's the label maker. I'm just going to slice these up kit, and then I'll put these together. Um, I might have a bit of a chat with you while I do it, but I'll do the labels quickly because... Um, I tend to go quiet when I'm using the blade. So I'll get back to you shortly when I'm labelled up. Okay, so these are <clears throat> all labelled up. Did a couple of fancy fancy things with it, but let's go here. I had a little bit of a whoops moment where I put labels around upside down, <laughs> as you do. Let's get the cover mine out of the way. And yeah. I have done left gaps after some, so you can see where I've put the label on and there's some empties just because I know they've got large amounts of colours in them. And now, the reason why I'm kidding up this one before anything else is because I split the bags. I split, well not the bag, but I split the, <laughs> I split the carry bag, 164. So I'm going to have a little bit of fun with getting these in because normally I have them in order, but I made a mess of this. But that's all good. That'll be neat and tidy soon. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so we're all kitted up, ready to go. Um, do you want to have a, I'll lift the lid and show you some of the drills, the quality of the drills, randomly, just so you can see what their quality is like. Let me put them in a container. Yeah, their quality is just so good, so good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So excited. Let's get this one moving. Hang on. We see through. That's too much reflection going through there. Um, but yeah, there we go. I am kitted up. My box that had the bags in it is now in there, all self contained. My bin's not going to look too full with that. And then the craft mates. Now, with the craft mates lockable, you can turn around and so there is a tag there. What I can do though is come on with this legend, I can actually pop that in there and probably better off doing it that way. So when I close this up, I've actually got what I'm working on. And then I have my legend with, with it anyway. Okay, let's uh, pop these all away. One thing with the craft mates, before I put them away, I will always run my finger along just to make sure that they are all popped down. Well, let's go that way. like that. Okay. Uh, that's just a little safety precaution that I do. Just, I think I have put them in there once where I had one wasn't shut. Because I had the plastic, it was okay. Um, but yeah, close that up. Thank you, Steph. My, my cheetah is now all kitted up, good to go with the label. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm just excited about this one. I think I'm going to have to find a green, make a green tray for this just to match it, blend it in. So we have a look. Look at his eye. A few different colours in there with the eye. Now the M. My guessing is the 310. Did I have 310 in this? No, no 310. So the three, the N, the N will be 939 or the 3771. 939. It's not funny how you used to get, you get used to companies and their, their symbols they use. And then they switch it up. On. But there we go, guys. My cheetah all kitted up. Good to go. <clears throat> um, if I work on him constantly, he'd be done in a week, but I'm not going to work on him constantly. I'm going back to changing my projects. Um, yeah, to rotate my projects around and get them done. I've dropped a drill. There we go. So, guys, hopefully you like that. I didn't ramble on too much. I did fast forward some bits that weren't needed. Let me know what you think of this cheetah. Is this, is this something that you would like? Is this an image you would like? If you would like this image from Die Moon Shop, let me know and see what we can do. And see, see if they're in agreement with it too. Um, but yeah, I uh, Oh, I'm so wrapped. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the in the eyes of this cheetah and remembering going back to what I was doing on that day. I mean, I've had I was actually rubbing this cheetah's chin and she licked my hand. You know, this is where customs just bring back memories, um, and that's why I loved in customs uh, of my own my own photography because the the memories that it brings back is just absolutely amazing. When I 
with seeing these guys, I lost a part of one of my glasses there, you know. So you've just got little bits about different places when you travel and I will relive my, my trip to South Africa um, while I'm working on all of my customs in relation to the, the my cats. So you guys, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. While you're down there, leave me a comment. How about you hop across, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell to be notified of future uploads. Um, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, every one of you that has subscribed recently, thank you for subscribing to those guys that have been subscribed to me from the beginning. Thank you very much for sticking with me. And um, keep an eye out for when I uh, hit the uh, thousand subscriber mark because I might be giving another one of these customs from Dime Moon Shop this time. Okay guys, thank you for watching and bye for now.